Hey. How's everyone doing? Um, I'm just going to do a really, really quick demonstration on how I am retailing to recruit. And, you know, like I tell everyone, the power is in retail. It, it is. The power is in retail. And what I mean by that is that, you know, without the products, guess what? You can't sell anything. And without that, guess what? You can't recruit anyone. Or it's going to be a little bit harder. So what I'm going to demonstrate to you all is what I did this weekend and how I was able to make over $550, okay? All right. One of the main products that I do sell because I do not have the instant tea. All right, and, and you know what? I don't recommend anyone to promote something they don't have unless they have it coming. Because guess what? If you're telling someone about a product, let's say the instant tea, I don't have the instant tea. So if I'm telling someone about this instant tea, I'm getting them hyped up and excited. But then guess what? I don't have it. Well, then guess what's going to happen? You've got these people excited about a product you do not have, but it's out there. What do you think they're going to do? Hmm. Common sense, they're going to go and find that instant tea for, to someone else. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to potentially lose a customer, if not a rep. So definitely, I don't mention anything that I don't have. One of my biggest sellers is this right here. Simply because you can break it down to a sample pack. But guess what? Every Almost about 95% mm, of the people in America needs to detox. Now, given there are um, health disadvantages for people who have certain diseases, um, or health issues that they cannot detox. But then again, I'm not a I, I'm not a doctor, so I can't make any medical claims on that. But make sure you know people's background. There's people who are allergic to certain things, so they can't what they can't use this particular tea. Um, so, but I market this because two things that happen with this: you detox, you feel better, but then you can potentially lose weight. Who doesn't want to do one of the two things? Me, I have uh, anxiety really really bad. I do. I have terrible anxiety. This he helps with that. I can't make any more claims, but know your product. Know the ingredients that's in there. Know what those ingredients do. Twenty dollars a bag. Just a sample. Tell people you can go to to my website, forty four ninety five, or what you can do is you can buy a sample right here, right now for twenty bucks. Which one do you think they're gonna choose? This product that you're telling me. You're telling them about that does amazing benefits, has so many different results, and you think they're going to want to wait? Nah. That's how you can get away with selling $20 a pop, because guess what? I'm giving it to you right right here, right now. Here we go. Convenience. People love convenience. That's the thing with, with, with people these days. They have that microwave mentality, okay? $20. But guess what? This was Bikers, Blues, and Barbecue this weekend, and you had... There's already about 82,000 people in this area, close 80, 80 to 100,000 people in, in this area, in Northwest Arkansas, the surrounding areas, one, two, three, four, five different cities in my area. That's over 200,000 people. Well, we just had a major event called Biker Blues and Barbecue. Real, real, real huge ordeal. One of the largest in the United States right here in, in, in my town. Well, guess what? The people that went from 200,000 people to well over four. It was a lot of people. I don't know the exact numbers, but I'll just say this. Every single hotel, hotel from here in 50 mile radius was booked sold out what do you think i did i market i market this and well my nrg is gone but i market this i market the nrg and and guess what bikers are men or women some are women and guess what else i did i market this this is the only one that i have and i didn't sell this because it's open but then guess what else i, I did because what do you think they're doing a lot of people that's coming here, they have health issues. They may not discuss it, but that's where communication and talking to the people, your potentials, come in at. I sold every last one of these, and I actually took some orders from people that live here locally. And, and the thing is, think about it. Weekend getaway. This is a weekend event. Some people are married. Some couples um, have children, but it's a weekend getaway. Guess what? Yeah, I don't have, as you can see, I have two love left, but I have no strike up. So what does that tell you? Yes, huge, huge. So definitely what I like to call attraction marketing. You, 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 you want to market the people that you're around and know which product to market. Because guess what? I don't want to be promoting to Chewy because that's what? That's not a, a product that gives you instant gratification. I don't want to promote Changa. Because guess what? That's not a product that gives, gives you instant gratification. But guess what was in the brochures that I gave them? It had a list of all the products. But they knew the product that I sold them was in there. 
Okay? See? So definitely. Now, another thing too that I, I learned was I went to AT&T store yesterday because I had to activate my amazing tablet. But guess what? I just started up a small conversation. I did not know that people that the AT&T store gets paid nearly minimum wage plus commission. Meaning that you get paid minimum wage, but if you're not a good seller, guess what? You don't get extra money because they get paid off commission as well. So guess what? I was talking to this lady and she was just frustrated because y'all just ask her, hey, how much I get paid here? I had a reason to ask her, but she didn't know that. And, she, and that's when she told me $8 an hour plus commission. And she was like, they just changed that. AT&T just changed that rule about a week or two ago. So now she's looking for another job because guess what? When they changed that, she took a thousand dollar hit. A thousand dollars that that would hit that would hurt me. So you know what I did? I didn't come to her with the products at first. I came to her with the business opportunity. And I asked her, as I'm talking to her, I'm pulling up my commissions. And as soon as I scrolled into my, you know, logged into my back office and I show her my commission check and I said and I just took my phone I said would this help you every week if you can make that amount she looked at me she was like girl what is this so I scrolled back out because I didn't want to think I was just showing her some random picture I scrolled I, I logged out I logged back in I showed her my name I showed her my profile I said here's my commission would this help you every week if you can get to this point she said girl yeah you know people are when they get to seeing something about money they get excited because guess what we all need an extra extra couple hundred dollars if not more in her situation an extra thousand a week would be amazing so guess what she was interested and she was like well what what do i have to do <laughs> hint hint the introduction to the products not too much because keep in mind this lady is on her job something quick so I asked her, I said, what would you want to change right now? And she said, girl, I just, ugh, I just need some more energy. I'm just tired. What do you think I gave her? I did. I asked her, did you drink Red Bull or something like that? She's like, yeah, but I don't like to drink that mess all the time. Oh, okay. So what if I can give you something? As I'm digging through my purse, what if I can give you something that can give you an all natural raw energy? No crash, no side effects, no jitterness, no nothing. Just raw energy, all natural. I said, would you take it? She's like, yeah. She said, but I ain't too big on pills. I said, but you drink Red Bull that has bull urine in it? She said, yeah, you're right. Okay. I said, would you like to take one? I said, here. Matter of fact, I said, go ahead and take two. I don't recommend two for everybody, but she's normally taking energy pills or drink. Go ahead and take two. So as we're talking and she's hooking up my, my tablet and we're talking about some other things, another guy being nosy, which is fine, looking, because he saw me give her two pills. So he coming over there not knowing what I'm doing. He's like, what is that? I said, these are energy pills. Do you need some? He's like, do they work? I said, you want to find out? I said, because you know everybody's body is different. So, you know, I love them. They work for me. That's why I keep them in my purse. I said, you can, I just gave her two here. You take two as well. By the end of that conversation, by the time they were done activating my tablet, these folks were excited. They weren't excited because the pill made them excited. They were excited because the pill was actually working. The guy was just, hey, he was yawning all morning. He was no longer yawning. The lady said she just felt drained. Guess what? She was no longer feeling drained. She actually had a boost of energy. Nothing that made her just jittery or nervous like, but it was just that natural like, oh, I feel more awake. Like I can focus right now. So guess what happened? I sold two bottles of energy. But then the guy was like, well, my wife, because he knew it was a weight loss company, because I told him that in the midst of the conversation of me giving him the NRG pill, he was like, my wife wants to lose weight. And I asked him, I said, do you mind having your wife to call me or can I call her now? And guess what? He texts his wife. Immediately she called him. I talked to her. Guess what I did? I sold a weight loss kit. It's that simple. Just sometimes just a start of a conversation and people will tell you everything you need to know to either recruit them as a rep or recruit them as a customer. Okay. And here's another thing too. The fact that I was able to have products on hand, I was able to make over $550 this weekend. Yes. Now given I have to put this money back into buying more products, but at the end of the day, my personal investment, my personal investment in TLC landed me more money this weekend. 
And it's not hard. I'm not saying that you got to be some scientist to do this. What I'm saying is you have to be willing to open your mouth and talk to people. You have to have a plan. Know what, you, know what you're selling. Because if you don't know that this detox tea will help you with insomnia, that this detox tea will help you with anxiety, that this detox tea will help you from not feeling so bloated, that this detox tea can actually help curb your appetite. So many different testimonies. Know what you're selling. Know what you're selling. But guess what else? You know how I was able to sell the love? Because the thing about women that a lot of people don't realize is we don't want to put people in our business. But if you can have a personal testimony to share with the person that you're trying to sell the products to, that's going to make them feel that much more comfortable with you. But guess what I was able to share with her? A lot of people don't realize that, <clears throat> yes, this is a sexual enhancement. But if you read on a back that shows you the ingredients and if you familiarize yourself with the ingredients and what these ingredients do, guess what? Women who's dealing with menopause, hmm, yes, no medical claims again, but learn the ingredients on the back of this. But then also, guess what? Hot flashes. Mood changes. Learn your product. The same thing with Strike Up. The guy didn't need the Strike Up, but when I broke it down to what the Strike Up would do for him besides just being a sexual enhancement, he bought them all. The woman was a little skeptical. She bought three. That's fine. But the idea is getting more products in as many hands as possible. But not just any hands, but the hands of people who really need these products. Because guess what? If they really need it and they actually do what they're supposed to do with these products, guess what? They're going to be able to tell a difference. Guess what? They're going to share. Because people talk. Whether it's good or bad, people talk. And the more good that you can do, the, the faster news will travel. Because guess what? Some lady in Fayetteville, Arkansas uh, gave me this. Well, guess what? She wouldn't take my car, but guess what's on this product? All over my products, I have labels with my information. It's called, thank you, mm -hmm. marketing. Attraction marketing. Because I'm not trying to throw all these products to these people. I'm not trying to throw all these products to these people. I'm trying to take, give the people products that they need and that they would use. Because if I went to her to tell her about the chewing, she probably wouldn't have bought it. If I would have went to her and told her about Shaga, she probably wouldn't have bought it. But the fact that I listened to her and I was picking information and, and what she was saying, I was receiving it and understanding and comprehending it. The fact that I know my products the way that I do, guess what? I was able to market those products to her and sell her on these products and, 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 what, they're, and what they can do for her. The benefits of these products. That's the power in recruiting. Excuse me, that's the power in retailing and knowing what you're selling. I'm just saying, but there's my little tip on retailing and how I was able to make over $550 in two days, less than 24 hours. Try it and you can thank me later. Bye.